Hello, everyone. We faced I think some we'll... technical problem. Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just yeah, going to say let's wait a bit for people to join. Yeah, sorry for being late for anyone who's waiting. Very sorry. We had a minor technical problem, but Slim, being the hacker, he's resolved it. So all is good now. Yeah, it took me five minutes, but <laughs> we are here. So Better late thank you. Than ever. Yeah. <laughs> While we're waiting for people to join, if you want to leave your comment, your name, and where are you joining us from today? That's fantastic. <laughs> I think I think let's wait a bit for people to to join. Of course. And uh, yes. Of course. Okay, I see some people joining already. So, hello. Actually, I, I see the number of people, but I don't see who's there. So, if you are here, maybe please comment. Say hi and With you. maybe where you are from. Your name. Slim, on my end, I think I have a small delay. Is everything, you can hear me well and stuff? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I think there is okay. some delay now that you said. And is it the same for, for my end as well? Like, is there some delay? I No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, so maybe uh, try to rejoin. That generally okay. that fixes the the delay. Welcome okay. back. Yeah, yes. now it's working fine. It's like computers. When you have a problem, just restart it. It, it Most of the time, it works. A lot of uh, administrators get paid yes. to help people to restart <laughs> their computers. I did it a lot, personally. You did. <laughs> Also, I apologize, especially for those who know me. I apologize for my voice. I hope you'll understand what I'm saying today, but I have a, a problem. So, yeah. Uh, Slim, does my delay is happening again? No, everything is good. No. Yeah. No, everything is good. And also good. your okay. voice, voice is, is okay. We can... Okay. You can understand. Understand what you say, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's very good. All right, so uh, maybe let's uh, start our presentation. Maybe, or let's wait one more minute and then we go. Like, uh, okay, we go. We were late five minutes. They are late five minutes. I think it's only fair. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me uh, present my screen. So welcome everyone to today's info session about our class 27 uh, of the full stack web development uh, program. My name is uh, my name is Slim, and I'm the director of product at Social Hackers Academy. 
And I'm Damian, and the executive director at Social Hacks Academy. So uh, today we will tell you a bit about uh, our program, our career track, which is starting uh, on the 29th of April. The total duration of the program is seven months. So six months plus one. The last one is for the final project. So where you will uh, showcase everything you will learn during the previous six months. Um, in general, the learning happens between 5 and 9 p.m. Uh, Athens time. And we provide scholarships to refugees and asylum seekers. So some, some of the uh, important uh, dates that uh, you need to keep in mind are, the first one is the day you apply to the program. And uh, once you do that, you will be able to uh, book a call with our admission team. So if you go to our website and uh, click on book a call in the uh, programs page, you will be redirected to uh, a short form that uh, from which you can uh, book a call with our admission team in order if you have any question or if you have some um, things that you need to, to know about the program. So our admission team's role during that call is to provide you with all the information about the program duration and so on and so forth the things that we will cover today and uh, to register you to the uh, program the second important date is today the info session where you will learn more about the course and uh, the closing date of the application are uh, is the 22nd of uh, april so by the end of uh, next week, because the starting date is on the 29th, so the week after. So uh, we have a, a holistic approach to employment, and our uh, employment rate for our graduates after they finish their uh, boot camp is mm, about 95%. The last time I. It's actually, in, yeah. Yeah, it's 95.5 and uh, 91 is wrong. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, during these uh, six months, like as you can see here in the slide, it's split into phases. So you will have uh, for the full stack, actually, it's split into two programs, kind of. They go uh, uh, both uh, at the same time, which is the technical program and the employability track. So during the technical uh, program, you will have different phases. The, you will start by learning the basics and setting up your development uh, environment on your computer. Then you will dive into JavaScript, then front end and back end. And you will have uh, a lot of projects to, to do actually during the whole uh, duration and by the end of the uh, program in the two last months you will have uh, some projects that you will do with your uh, either in teams with your classmates or so in solo mode and then you will do your the final project where you will uh, showcase everything you learned during the program and during this these phases from the employability track, you will have sessions with our employability team uh, about soft skills. You will have workshops uh, about, for example, CV creation, um, LinkedIn optimization, and your GitHub account, and so on and so forth. Uh, and after graduation, you will be um, coached by our employability team until you secure your job. So that could be that, that will be uh, in the form of mock interviews, support during the job search phase, uh, providing you with some technical roadmaps uh, and some um, <clears throat> some example of technical uh, assignment that you can get during the uh, the interview phase, and uh, during the learning. There are two key concepts that we provide, which which are the help desk and the pair learning. So the help desk is the fact that while you are studying, you will face some 
technical challenges, like whenever you have questions or you need support to solve a bug or something like that. So we have the help desk there for you seven days a day, you know, seven days a week. And the per, le per learning is where you work with one of your classmates. So every two weeks you are matched with one of the uh, of your classmates to work together on some code challenges. So let's dive a bit into uh, some technical stuff. The things that you will learn during this program are HTML and CSS, like from uh, zero to hero, like from very basic concepts until uh, advanced ones. And here you can read some of the concepts. Then you will dive into JavaScript, where you will learn the basic, the fundamentals, the the manipulation, events, and so on and so forth. Uh, Node.js and Express for the backend part. You will learn React for the frontend part. And for the database, you will deal with MongoDB. I know it can sound gibberish at this uh, stage, but don't worry about that. Uh, you will be used to these uh, concepts and technical words when you, when you will uh, see them in the program. And uh, we have loads and loads of hours of learning. Uh, for me, the most important thing is that you must treat this course as a part-time job. I know it's hard. Uh, we've had hundreds of students who graduated and got employed. So we have figured out that the average student needs about 20 hours per week. We suggest even more than that, if you can invest the time. Uh, but in real numbers, we have 112 hours of live classes, which of course are recorded and can be watched on demand in case you cannot make it. We have an absolute minimum of 70 hours of pair programming. By pair programming, we mean that we assign you with one of your fellow classmates and you study together and do homework and assignments, build, build stuff together. Then we have 84 hours of employability skills, but uh, there are many more hours that you can uh, leverage our employability team and uh, use their expertise for your benefit. It's up to you, especially after graduation, on how much uh, we are going to, uh, on how much you are going to need it, uh, which will be a lot if you are seeking employment and stuff. And uh, yeah, we have over 50, 560 hours of guided learning. Okay. So uh, I think we have, again, some delay, but uh, I, I think that's okay. Uh, so um, when are the classes? This is a common question that we have. And um, the, you have actually two to three se live sessions per week, depending on the uh, week content, the topics that we studied during uh, that week. There are, like, this is, uh, let's say a common uh, uh, on the basis that you are studying between 5 and 9 p.m. Athens time. So as Damian said, like it should be considered as a part-time job. So four hours a day, and then you can adapt some stuff during the uh, weekend. And here, the as you can see the card, so you have, for example, on Monday, self-reading on our uh, Athena platform where all the program content is, so you will have access to that. Uh, you will be, for example, working on the assignments or uh, solving some quick challenges with your pair. And then uh, at, actually at 7 p.m. Athens time are the sessions, like uh, it starts always at 7 p.m. And it's generally Monday and Thursday, unless you have the third uh, session. So it's always 7 p.m. Athens time and then the duration of the sessions are uh, up to two hours, depending on the uh, content. 
and then you will have ac of course actually uh, access to discord where all the communication happens and where you will find your class environment and that's where you that's where you can leverage the support so while you are while you are so let's say working on assignments so exercises or you are doing a code challenge and you are stuck and so on you can reach out to your instructor through the uh, ticketing system we have on discord and uh, yeah so tuesday self-reading working on the assignments uh, wednesday you have employability workshop or webinar um, and again self-reading and so on and so forth so this is so apart from the uh, live sessions you manage your time so you need to manage your time and we are always around on discord to support you whenever you need support and uh, so we have actually two types of hackers so our students uh, the everyday hackers and the weekend hackers and uh, the weekend hackers are people that are working and cannot spend four hours a day uh, during the week or cannot uh, attend the session because their work and the, the, the time of the session may be overlap. So for this, uh, for this category of students, they, most of the time they are uh, studying mainly on Saturday and Sunday or their, or their two days off during the week, if it's the case. And we strongly recommend that during the week not to put four hours as someone who is not working but at least to put uh some time daily in order to stay tuned to not disrupt the learning uh flow and not to break the momentum also for the whole content of the week it would be too much to process just in two days. So Damian, I don't know you want to add something. I saw you unmuted yourself. No, no. I am trying to figure out what's my problem with my connection because I tested it on another device. Now it's my okay. connection has... Yeah, I downgraded my video quality to 480p and it seems mm. to be working. So that's why I was playing and moving my head <laughs> okay. just to see. Sorry for this. It's the first time I've had technical problems in this house. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. I just wanted to add, uh, as you said, that our program is inclusive essentially to everyone. But weekend hackers, I would say it's uh, it's tougher for people who uh, only attend uh, the course on the weekends because it gets too much to do during the weekend. So what we suggest is try to attend the live classes and try to invest even four hours between Monday and Friday uh, to, to study with us. And of course, during the weekend, push harder, work harder uh, to, to graduate. Uh, I would like to say hello to Alexandros who dropped the message in the chat. So hi, Alexandros, thanks for uh, joining. And Alexandros is saying, if you cannot see the comment, uh, the message actually, I just hopped on by accident as an actual student of class 26. And I must say to the potential students that the program is top notch. Thank you very much, Alexandros. If you invest the time and work. So yeah. Uh, Thank you, Alex. So regarding the schedule, as we were discussed, so the common question is, can I make my own schedule? So yes, you can make your own schedule outside of the uh, sessions uh, hours. So you are not asked to work from five to nine. You can put those hours during the day uh, or spread them during the day, like one hour from here, one hour and a half from here. That's also uh, doable. Uh, the thing is with the sessions, you need to attend and the time of the sessions is 
uh, fixed. And the, um, the advices that we, we give you are to study regularly, also on weekends. And uh, so, yes, technically you can study whenever you want with your own schedule. But for the exercises and assignments Seriously. and so on, Seriously, uh, yes. you can study whenever you, as long as this is always, to study yes. always all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a joke, but uh, obviously it's it's a tough course. That's why we have this rate of employability because the people who actually go ahead and graduate have the necessary skills for their first job in tech. Uh, but you must understand that there is a price to be paid and uh, but it's definitely worth doing yeah so the price to be paid is, is yeah go ahead uh, Dimitri. Uh no no as Alexandros said I just mentioned the message we had from uh, Alexandros there's always this student who jumps in for some reason because we don't announce it to them but they jump in and they say uh, positive things for the program. That's that's uh, that makes me really happy every time. Yeah, yeah. So we would like to address some common myths on who is a good programmer. So they say that a good programmer must be a great mathematician. What I like to say here is that yeah, it doesn't hurt to be a great or good mathematician, but it's not mandatory you will develop certainly your math skills along the way uh, not in our in our studies so much but in your career <laughs> but you don't need to have a great math skills to begin with then the second myth is that you must a programmer must have bad communication skills i would say this is the exact opposite a, a good programmer must have great skills because in the company that you're going to work, uh, you will be a member of a team of seven to 10 people, depending on the tech company. So to work there, you need to be able to communicate perfectly. Then a good programmer should be able to fix a printer, which doesn't hurt to know how to fix a printer, but it's not definitely not mandatory. Then uh, a good programmer must not be creative. Again, here I would say on the contrary, it it really helps uh, because programming looks like a science and it is, but it's also an art. So a programmer who is both a scientist and an artist, that's the perfect programmer uh, in, in our mind. Although if you're not currently particularly creative, this doesn't mean that you cannot develop this skill. In SHA, we believe in hacking yourself, in hacking your current situation. So if you're not creative, great. If you are creative and you are not a great scientist, also great. Go ahead and do the work. We are here to support you in every possible way. And a good programmer, this, this always makes me sad because uh, that's a very... That's how television portrays programmers, and it 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 might it was like this maybe in 2000 or 1995 or something like that, but it's not like that anymore. Programmers are not necessarily nerds, nerds and lonely people. You can be a nerd, you can be a lonely person and be a programmer, but also you you don't have to be that. You can do. Uh, programming is for everyone. This is what we believe in SHA. As long as you want to do the work. That's it from Islam, if you want to move. Thank you, Damien. Uh, it was... Uh, I would like to add something about the bad communication uh, skills. So even if at this stage you think that you are not maybe a good communicator, that one of the aspects we focus on in the uh, employability track and the soft skills. So uh, you will work on your communication through activities like, for example, presentations, flash pitches, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, good points. 
So here are your career opportunities. Because we have students from over 60 countries, we are not able to put every country that our students have found jobs at. So we chose uh, UK, Greece, and the MENA region. And even those might be different. For example, uh, in UK, a full stack developer in London makes more money than a full stack developer in Glasgow or, uh, I don't know, in a rural area. So these are uh, averages on what you can expect. And this is these are gross salaries. Uh, we've seen all of this. Uh, our students have found jobs with this money. Uh, and there are plenty industry trends. Obviously, artificial intelligence recently is the most the biggest buzzword in technology. We have a uh, Internet of Things, which I think it's a very nice niche for people to focus in. Virtual reality, accessibility, blockchain, and all other kinds of trends. But for me, it's not necessarily about following the trends. It's about following your passion. If AI is your passion, fantastic. Go for it. Be happy. If something else is your passion, we had a student early on, four or five years ago, that was very passionate about accessibility. Back then, accessibility was a topic that not many people were talking about. Now it's it's a trend, but back then it was nothing. She just went for it. She went for it and she did her passion. That's what we always suggest. And money will follow. Maybe AI AI money is a lot right now, but you know, do do what you like. Yes, Len, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Damien. So uh what makes uh, Social Hackers Academy uh, special are the live classes, the code challenges and the live solutions of them, the code review that you get uh, after sub su after uh, submitting your uh, assignments and exercises, the pair programming, so that's where you uh, get to communicate with and network uh, with with many people. Uh, the help desk seven days a week whenever you are stuck or you need support. So uh, our education educational team is always there to support. We have mentors for like some people from uh, the industry or our previous students. Sometimes like they come and they want to to support current students. We have also the soft skills and employability workshops and the monthly uh, events. So this is a loaded uh, picture, a loaded image. Uh, but for us, it's a very important uh, image, which is it, it shows very clearly how are we different from other boot camps. And I would like to, to mention uh, other bootcamps and other ways of learning how to code. So uh, for me, our pedagogical approach is, is quite unique. We have it's instructor-led, uh, project-based learning, community learning, and it's fully hands-on. From week one, you have assignments, you write code. Uh, this is very important, maybe the most important thing. Uh, for you to write as much code as you possibly can. This is what will get you the job afterwards. It's not a theoretical knowledge. Many people can have theoretical knowledge, but if you cannot implement it, it means nothing to the tech company. They, they will never hire you. Coding uh, reviews, as Lee mentioned, but I would like to mention it again, because all our assignments receive code reviews, which is something that Definitely, you cannot see in other programs. Uh, the employability support is really uncanny. Our team, uh, during the course and after the course, forever, are there to support you, achieve your goal. If your goal is, is the 
is a similar goal to ours, which is for you to find employment, then our employability support is, uh, there is no match for it. Uh, the weekly assignments I mentioned, the mention that uh, the curriculum gets updated like all the time. Uh, we have a very inclusive pricing. We're going to talk more about it. And of course, you're going to uh, receive a certification at the end. And for me, uh, many people would ask, like, why pay social hackers or any other bootcamp uh, to study while I can learn everything on YouTube? Uh, and yeah, there have been many, 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 many developers that learned through YouTube. But the roadmap we have created, the support, the camaraderie with your fellow students, uh, the assignments, the portfolio you have at the end, you cannot do this on YouTube. YouTube is, I think it's great to support, support your learning, but not be your actual learning. You need to have a very clear roadmap on how to get to your first job. And YouTube cannot uh, do this. That's it from me, Slim. And does the job market need more developers? You know, we hear a lot these days that AI is going to replace developers. And yes, it might happen in 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know, who knows? Uh, because when developers, when companies will not need developers, society as a whole will have major problems. It won't be just the developers having problems. So the demand actually, even though this opposed AI revolution is going on, uh, the, the demand for engineers, for developers is growing. And it's projected to grow by 22% by 2029. And all of all other industries, the actual the average of all other industries is about 4%. Uh, for us, uh, we started our organization about seven years ago. Every year, I'm surprised by, by the demand. It's only getting bigger. I cannot believe it, honestly. So <clears throat> what's the necessary equipment for the program? Uh, main thing is to have uh, a stable internet internet connection because as you can see our program is fully uh, online a computer with preferably a minimum of four uh, gigs of ram be a, a processor equivalent or higher than an intel uh, i5 uh, a wider display uh, screen and potentially uh, that would uh, boost your uh, learning experience to have a secondary uh, screen. And what does it take to su actually succeed in the course? Uh, a lot of things. We cannot put it all here. Uh, for me, I would say my very, very first, most important is the determination and your desire. We're going to talk a bit more about this in the next slide, if I remember correctly, uh, about your why, finding your yeah. why, yeah. Uh, you have to manage yourself. You have to manage your time. You have to manage your priorities. Our course, as we mentioned, is not a, a walk in the park. You have to study hard. You have to program. You have to deal with uncertainty all the time. You have to manage yourself to the best of your ability and become better. Uh, while studying with us. Then curiosity, we find this very important because software engineers solve problems. The problems are solved primarily through being curious about solving them. It really helps you if you are naturally curious. Uh, and if you are not, you can also develop uh, this skill uh, because uh, while being in the course, you'll be seeing stuff that makes you curious to explore further. And I think that can happen that, during the course. That's actually a skill that you will uh, acquire also during the course, because uh, you will be learning, as Damien said, 
uh, new stuff every day and that will uh, tickle your uh, curiosity and also you need to become curious if you are not if you want to keep up with this field because IT as you can see especially with the AI uh, boom that you need always to be on the page on what is going on in the field yeah yeah because uh, sorry i let me let go back uh, i forgot mm -hmm. the, the top left uh the bottom left uh, about having growth mindset this this really helps we have actually have a course inside our program about fixed and growth mindset essentially the easiest way to say what growth mindset is is to be able to adapt to change quickly things uh, negative things come your way all the time. Uncertainty. Am I going to graduate? Oh my God, this is so hard. These things will be hitting you all the time. Having a growth mindset will really, really help you overcome these obstacles because it's just that an obstacle between your where you are right now and your goal. Uh, so, so yeah, we have this covered in our employability course. And talking about determination and desire, we really, really push you uh, uh, on figuring out your why. You need to take your time and think, why do I want to do it? Why am I going to spend so many hours over half the year ahead in learning to code? What's the reason? If it's just to make money in the tech industry, I'm 90% I'm sure that you will fail because uh, you either love engineering or you don't. So you really need uh, to understand why do I want to do this? Uh, because whenever you are challenged or feel like you cannot do it anymore, which will be every other day or if you are lucky every other week, you need to be going back to your why. I am doing this for my family. I am doing this to have a career, to get out of this situation. You really need to understand your why. And there is a great exercise online. If you go on YouTube and search for uh, uh, the Golden Circle by Simon Sinek. Let me repeat that. Golden Circle, Simon Sinek. Or find your why. Simon Sinek, do this exercise for 30 minutes to understand why you want to join. Very important for you. So we have many tuition options. If you pay upfront, you have 20% off. Uh, if uh, you pay later, uh, it's just a bit, uh, it's 20% more. Uh, we have, we are a non-profit organization and this is why, why you see such low prices in case you have looked at other, at other boot camps. Uh, we are not crazy here. We are not trying to sell you something and then just get the money and run. We are here to support you get a job. And because we are a non-profit, we are able first to subsidize and give fully funded scholarships to refugees and asylum seekers. But even for the non-vulnerable, we have this, what we consider a very inclusive pricing. Uh, so we have three tiers of, uh, of payments, essentially, depending where you are from, you pay a different uh, amount. The easiest way for me to tell you how much you're going to pay is just go to our website without using a VPN. Uh, if you don't know what a VPN is, then you don't uh, don't care. Uh, so just go to our page and whatever the price is over there, that's your appropriate price. So yeah, I think that's it, Slim, on this slide. And, and that was uh, the... Yeah. Great. So um, this is the time if you have uh, any questions to hit the chat. I would love to answer 
any any of your comments this is our 27th cohort we've yeah. done this quite a bit slim <laughs> this this info session your Very voice cool. became rusty because of the info session. yeah <laughs> <laughs> My voice is not working today. My internet, like almost for the first time ever. I don't know. It's not, uh, yeah. My human technology and my tech technology, uh, it's not at its finest today. Uh, also, for anyone, uh, we, uh, in case, you don't want to ask something now uh, you can join our discord server uh, and ask there or give us a call or uh, book a call with us. In... yeah book a call with us yes actually yeah go to our website book a call you're going to talk with a member of our admissions and employability team uh, and they can answer uh, all your questions. And I suggest you can watch this again. Uh, this video will be on YouTube. Uh, they recorded, so you can watch it again if you, you know, because there is too much information in, in 40 minutes. So if you miss something, I think by tomorrow it's going to be uploaded there. So go for it. All right, so I don't see uh, questions in the chat. I think we covered almost everything. And as Damian said, if you, yeah, we're becoming good at it. <laughs> and if uh, you have any other question that comes up to comes comes to you afterwards, you can reach out to us through the different channels, either on social media or by going to our website and book a call and there will be always someone to to support. So thank you, thank you. Uh, everyone for uh, joining today. Thank you, Damian, for, for being here. Thank you. And have a have, good day, have, everyone. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.